What up, Dokoners? We got major hype coming up this weekend for not only Dokon, but Dragon Ball in general. So this video is just going to be basically your programming schedule, your itinerary, your look ahead to this weekend, because it is going to be chaos. Chaos for me in particular, but then in general, major hype, because Dokon's getting info, Sparking Zero's getting info, Daima's getting info. Whatever game or property you, you care about in Dragon Ball, it's probably getting some sort of an update. I believe, except for Breakers, which sucks for Breakers, but hey, Breakers has been on a roll, so let them just take it easy for a bit. So let's go over everything that is coming up, starting with the most obvious and probably most notable thing that is coming up for most of you guys watching. That is the Dokkan nine year anniversary part one info. That is gonna be happening on the 27th at 8.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time for me. So it's actually happening January 28th at 1.30 p.m. for them. I will be going live. I will be reacting to all of this stuff with you guys. It is going to be just bedlam over here. Dragon Ball Games Battle Hour in Los Angeles is happening all weekend. And uh, yeah, there's going to be a lot of shuffling and moving pieces happening. But I think I will be able to live stream this fully. In this, we will be getting the unit details. We will be seeing the full-on animations. We will see the campaign and all that stuff. It's going to cover pretty much everything that you've been waiting for for part one. It will not cover part two. So if you are hoping for any sort of a sneak peek into part two, I would imagine they're probably just going to keep all of that airtight because if they did, it would essentially undercut the final thing in this programming schedule video, which is the part two reveal in two weeks. Wouldn't make a whole lot of sense for them to reveal anything regarding that now. So don't expect anything for that. If you're a Beast Gohan Hoper, which I definitely am, Cell Max Hoper, gonna have to wait. Let's just enjoy part one. Let's enjoy and savor every second with Dragon Ball Super Broly. And I'm hoping that I can also do a live stream for the JP summons when the banner drops the following day, right? I think, hold on. When when does the, uh, when do we actually get the JP? Two days, in, yeah, so January 28th at 8 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Oh, this is gonna be chaos, absolute chaos. Oh, they changed the logo, anyway. That is Anniversary Part 1 Hype. Make sure you guys subscribe, hit that notification bell because I will be live reacting, live translating all of the information that they show us. So make sure you guys are there. Do not miss out, do not. Now let's move on to the 28th. January 28th is Dragon Ball Games Battle Hour Hype Block because we've got a ton of stuff happening here. Starting at noon, there is going to be a Fusion World Card Game Exhibition. This is the digital version of the Dragon Ball Super TCG. So for those of you who are fans of the game, if you guys have been trying out the open beta that has been out for a couple of days now, they're going to be doing a full-on exhibition match on the um, on stage for you guys to watch. And by the way, um, there was this big controversy surrounding Dragon Ball Games Battle Hour because they said originally that it was going to be a completely offline event, meaning no live streams. The, the purpose of it is to in increase traffic in person. They want to get more bodies into the, the convention halls to get more sales, to get more traction. So they worded it in such a way that it really angered a lot of people because they were like, okay, so that means people who can't attend cannot see anything. They didn't quite word it very well, but now they have said they are going to be producing VODs or basically video archives for some of the events. Still, it will remain exclusive in terms of live footage for the in-person audience, but they will drop some of the videos after the fact. So some of the things that are on the itinerary will be getting releases later on. I don't know how late exactly it's going to happen. So in terms of my coverage for some of these things, it's going to take some time because multiple reasons, logistics and all that stuff. But the, the digital card game is going to be starting at noon. I actually have the programming schedule here too. Yeah, the Dragon Ball Super Card Game Fusion World Exhibition Match is starting at noon. Hold on, I'm trying to get the image here. Okay, cool. There's the image. Dragon Ball Super Card Game Fusion World planned to be released February 2024. Next month? In physical and digital formats. Yo! Commemorating Battle Hour, we will hold an exhibition match made by two, the two chosen players. Get ready for feature reveals of the game. So I will be playing this game. How extensively I cover it remains to be seen. I did express interest in this and Sparking Zero. Sparking Zero takes 100% priority. So in terms of a one of these two games likely being on the channel moving forward, it is 99.999% going to be Sparking Zero and not Digital Fusion World. This will probably end up being just a live stream thing. But yeah, make sure you guys are subscribed for this too, because I will be playing it regardless. So that is happening at noon. The video will drop sometime afterwards. Uh, then we've got at one o'clock, what most of you are probably hoping for, the 1 p.m. time slot goes to Dokkan and Legends Data. So let's take a look at what they have described this as. 
So for this, Dokkan data returns after two years, but this time Dragon Ball Legends will also join in the fun. We've analyzed all kinds of data and player trends, and we're sharing our results with you. Some extra special top secret data may even be revealed. This is a must-see stage event for any players of these mobile games. Look forward to a video message from producers Omatsu and Toshi too. Producers Omatsu and Toshi will be dropping video messages. So I believe this is because uh, Omatsu is going to be busy with stuff going on in Japan literally the day before. So I don't think he is able to uh, get out there for that. But now for this data thing, I actually pulled up my live stream from two years ago. And I was just looking through what they did. They had, didn't they? It was like a quiz between uh, Koto and Omatsu. So this was actually a fun little thing, little video that they did. Yeah, this this was pre-recorded. This was pre-recorded. I'm trying to find some of the stuff here. Did you know even before becoming a producer, Omatsu has been a Dokkan super fan since day one? Oh, maybe one of you guys could become a producer at some point. Dokkan released uh, 2015. Okay, so they're just giving a bunch of info. Total stamina used by players in 2021. Okay, let me just fast forward and see. Are you ready for this? Total stamina used by all players in 2021. It, what? Oh, okay. <laughs> Five, is that uh, tri trillion? Billion? Five billion, 542 million, 757,179. Oh, 50. Okay, you know what? I'm just going to keep going. There we go. 55 billion. 55 billion stamina was used by all players in 2021. So we'll probably get some sort of follow up to that. Um, and then they'll they'll just do other cool little tidbits of trivia. And then they quiz the producers. I don't know if they're going to do this this time. Which stage consumed the most stamina in 2021? Excluding growth, quest, story, and world tournament. I was going to say quest mode, what? What is it? 23-7? Uh, Whatever. It's not going to be that. So what is the most... Let's see. They wrote it down primarily. I don't like this. They're, they're freaking out. And the answer is... Ultra Instinct Dokkan event, Gogeta Dokkan event, and the correct answer was... What? <laughs> it was the Prime Battle Majin Buu event, 700 million stamina use. So you pretty much get the gist. It's just a cool little way of celebrating Dokkan. They'll be doing the same thing for Legends. I don't know how long this bit is going to go, because in the itinerary, it does say 30 minutes later, they'll be doing a watch party for Dragon Ball Z. I'm imagining there's going to be some overlap. It's not like you can just go from one panel to the next. That would probably require ridiculous uh, venue halls to, you know, handle that crowd. So it'll probably be stuff that's happening sort of overlapping. So I, I think Dokkan will probably be like an hour, 40 minutes to an hour long. Whatever they drop in there, I will cover in a follow-up video. And same with Legends. I will not do a video for that one, but they'll also be having their own thing. They've actually been dropping these like little video montages for people. If you have a Bandai Namco ID, it gives you the full breakdown in this cool like epic sum summary thing. I hope Dokkan can do that too. That would be pretty dope. So that is the Dokkan block. Then we have the watch party. Doesn't matter. 2 p.m. Dragon Ball Games Battle Hour. Producer, or sorry, a Dragon Ball Games producer panel. This is for Sparking Zero. So let's take a look at this. Producer Ryo Mito, who worked on the Dragon Ball Z Sparking series. That's uh, Budokai Tenkaichi. And then uh, producer Masayuki Hirano. General producer of Dragon Ball Games will hold a stage at Battle Hour event to share some stories when working on Dragon Ball Games. In addition, we are giving players and fans to ask what? We are giving players and fans an opportunity to ask questions to these two producers. The questions will be answered on stage on the day of the event. This is also going to be... Yes, this is also going to be broadcast. Oh, no, it's, it's going to be a video. Okay. Uh, and then they're going to be dropping a sparking teaser. So in my schedule here, Dokkan Legends... Sparking Zero producer panel, 2 p.m., 3 p.m., Sparking Zero trailer. This is going to be available for everybody. So this, I will be doing a video for reacting to this because this game I will be playing. This game I will be covering in some form or fashion. So this is going to be essentially a Goku Vegeta trailer, which is, I think, also going to be showing some mechanics. I believe Air Dokkan said that this video, this trailer is about two and a half minutes. So look forward to that one. That will be dropping at 3 p.m. Pacific. I will try to post all of these links in the pinned comment so you guys can click on all of them, bookmark them, and all that stuff. So there's that. Then we've got at 6.30, Dragon Ball Daima. So that is the big ticket item that is actually going to be live streamed for the whole world to enjoy. So for this one, this is obviously the next chapter in the Dragon Ball franchise. So they want everybody to see this, no matter whether you're at the convention hall or not. 
So at 6 p.m., there's going to be a performance by Hironobu Kageyama. And then at 6.30, there will be a Dragon Ball Daima special panel with the producer of Dragon Ball Daima. So that is what uh, this shows right here. Producer, uh, producer Aiko Ioku will make a guest appearance at da a Daima special panel. Ioku will share behind the scenes tidbits about making Dragon Ball Daima, which is scheduled for release fall 2024, as well as other exclusive info. New artwork by Akira Toriyama himself will also be displayed, so don't miss it. Dragon Ball Daima is a new anime in which Toriyama has been directly involved with the production of its brand new story, including plot and dragon or character designs. Also, it is being released on the 40th anniversary of the original Dragon Ball series, taking the fans' expectations to a whole new level. So whether you're a fan of Dokkan, Legend, Sparking, anything, make sure to look out for this one. I will definitely not be able to keep that stream on the channel if I even happen to react to it. Probably shouldn't, just to be safe, but regardless, uh, there might be some information that I might be able to drop on a video. So that pretty much covers all of Dragon Ball Battle Hour. I think there's also something for Kakarot. Let me actually see here. So it shows all of the... Yeah, so Sparking Zero Kakarot. I, Kakarot might get something because I think there's going to be some sort of an announcement for that. That should be around the 2 p.m. time slot. So in here, we could also just say uh, plus Kakarot. So uh, that should be... Yeah, this is Kakarot, by the way, is a beautiful game. You really should play that. So that pretty much covers January 28th, which is a Sunday. And then the final thing on the block, the schedule block, is the part two reveals that is happening in two weeks. So we don't have to worry about this anytime soon. But when it does drop, I will, of course, be live reacting just like I did for the part one reveals. This is the actual like fan meetup. So just like part one, it will probably just be the unit reveals. They will not go over animations. They will not go over details. They will show the, pretty much the same thing that they did for part one. And I think it is going to be amazing. February 10th, 9 p.m. Pacific. So there you go. That is the full list of stuff coming up. Make sure to look out. Make sure you guys subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of this stuff. And dude, I can't wait. There's so much hype. If you are a fan of Dragon Ball, you are eating good this weekend. Real good. Let's get it. Guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like down below. Let me know in the comments. Aside from the Dokkan stuff, what are you most excited for? Is it the digital card game? Is it Kakaroto? Is it Sparking Zero? Is it something else? Let me know if you guys are attending the Dragon Ball Games Battle Hour in Los Angeles. And uh, anything else you want to share, feel free to do so in the comments down below. Also, be sure to subscribe for more dope content in the future and click the notification bell so that you let you know you're going to see more of my stuff. Do it! Make sure you guys click on the links in the pinned comment. I'm going to be putting everything in there. Second channel, click on that first. And then all of these different links for the various things that are going to be dropping. All right? Thank you so much for watching, everybody. Stay tuned and always remember to Dokkan responsibly. Dragon Ball responsibly. Everything responsibly. Just be responsible, okay? Just be responsible. Okay, bye.